Hey, what's going on? My name is Juan, and in this video, we're going to take a look at five easy ways to query your data within WordPress. So a little bit about my setup that I'm using. I am using Laravel Valet as my environment. I am running the uh, 2017 theme, and I simply created a page template that I assign, assigned to this page. So within that page template, I call the header, call the footer, call the wrap class, and I create an action called page loop. And I hook into that page loop and we are going to run all of our test code within the do page loop function. So with that set up, let's go ahead and get started. The first way we are going to do is probably the most common, and this is using the WP query class. So we'll call this custom and we can call new WP query and we can pass in the args and we'll define the args up here. Args equal array. and we can pass any arguments that we want. So we're gonna keep these queries pretty simple. Um, first thing I'm just gonna post, we're gonna call post per page, and we are gonna call the latest five post, and we're gonna change the category. So the category we want to pull from, take a look. So I am using this, the theme unit test from wordpress.org. Simply download this XML file and import it and you'll have all the same stuff that I do. So let's go ahead and open up these categories in a new tab. And I wanna go ahead and grab the latest six, the latest five posts from within the markup category. In our case, the ID is 29. You can see at the bottom left, tag ID equals 29. So we can pull all the category would be 29. We defined our arguments. We created our new instance of the WP query object. And now we have to write the loop. So so if custom have post and we can end the if format that just a little bit better while custom have post then we can set up the post and end while so this is like a normal loop you can use template tags such as the title Let's go ahead and go to our page and you can see all of the posts that we are pulling in and to keep this a little more clean we can pass in some heading tags so we'll just pass in h3 as before and we'll close the h3 after refresh and now these are h3s you can see we specified that we only wanted five but we have six and that's because we're pulling the sticky so let's go ahead and set ignore sticky post to true go back refresh so we pull it in the latest five posts and we exclude the sticky so that's one way to query your data the next way is using something similar we're going to keep the arguments array but we are going to use the get post function so we want to call in the global post variable and then we can do my post equal get post and we can pass in the args the same args we'll remove this loop so now we can write a for each loop so for each my post as post and we need to set up the post data and we are going to call in post and we can end the for each down here and we can end the for each and since we set up the post data here we can use template tags again the title and again let's go ahead and specify we want h3s we want to surround our title in h3s give that a refresh again we got the same information but let's go ahead and change okay so let's go ahead and grab uh, the latest post formats and this ID is going to be 38. So if we change 29, then we can head back to our page and refresh. And now we grab the latest five post formats. So that's the second way of how to query your post. The third way is we're going to start querying individual posts. So you can run loops 
to get your latest post or um, related posts or things like that. Okay, so the third way we could query information is by using template tags. So you may be familiar with the title or the content. And if you look at the title, you can see we can specify before, after, or echo. So before this is so this is how we wrap um, the title within H3s. Specify the before, opening H3 tag, and after will be a closing H3 tag. But if we use the getter version, so get the title, take a look at that function, we can specify a post ID. We can grab that ID. So let's let's go ahead and look at our post, and we can see 358 is a post ID. So what we can do is specify the post ID. We'll go ahead and echo that. We can grab bits of information by just specifying ID. So we can grab the title. We can also echo, get the permalink, 358. Hit refresh and we get the permalink. But So this will work for um, get the title get the permalink but it won't work for content for there's get the content but if we take a look at that you can't specify an id so the way we could do this is we can echo get post field i'm gonna grab the post content and then we can specify the id of 358 and refresh now we get that post content so when we pass it through so when we echo the get post field this way when we when we show the content we don't pass it through the wp auto p function or the short code function so if there's any short codes in here they will they won't be rendered and the as you can see there's no paragraph tag so everything is just kind of punched up against each other so what we could do is we could apply filters the content and we can pass this content through the content and if we refresh now it's formatted properly and if there's any short codes we can output the short codes so that's how you would grab the content of single post but you would have to be specifying the ID for each piece of content you want there's an easier way we can go ahead and do um okay so the fourth way we could query our information is if we use the get post function again we can pass in the id but now we have access to every bit of information so if we've already dumped that variable we can see that we have access to the um, the id author id title and the content. So if we want to put out the content, we will. And of course we're var dumping. We don't want to var dump. In our case, we want to echo and refresh. And we get our content. And of course, if you wanted to if you wanted to format that, we can do the content. Pass through the content that we want to filter. Refresh. Now we run our content through the WP Auto P function and uh, do short code function. Um, so that is how we can, and again, we have access to all of the information. So we can simply grab post title. Make sure to echo that. Post format and grab this. So this is good for, if you want to just grab all the information that won't go, you simply pass get post and the post ID. Okay, so the last way is we're gonna take a look at a single page. But instead of passing it through the ID, we wanna pass in the slug. Um, so this function is not really popular. Um, you really don't run across this function too often, but you can get page by path and about the test page we got a title here we got the content here um but we don't want to grab it by the id we want to go ahead and grab it by the slug so we can do about and you can grab it as an object and this is going to be a page post type 
So if we var dump single page, let's go back to queries to our custom template queries. And you can see we get all the information of that particular page, but instead of ID, we're grabbing it by the slug. And we can also, um, you can also access it as an array. So if you see this is an object and we can access it using the object notation. Now we refresh and it is an array and we could access it by using an index. So single page, post content, fresh. Now we got the content. Of course, it's not formatted. You want to format it. Apply filters, the content, pass through the content, fresh, and now it is formatted. So that is five ways to query your information. Um, some are easier than others. Um, we walk through the WP query, get post, get post, um, the template tags, and how to grab individual pieces of information using the get page by path function. Um, again, you could pass through a custom post type. So if you had a custom post type called dog, and you want to pull in the slug of Lassie, you can grab that and post it out. Of course, in our case, we don't have custom post type and we don't have this post, so it wouldn't work. So that was just a quick video showing you five different ways to query your data within WordPress. Thanks for watching.